Welcome back. We are here for a another video. It has been quite a while since my last one, but I have been extremely busy doing various things, working on my own game and work within Microprose. So things are things are moving. But today we are back with a video which is going to be essentially a tutorial on height maps and how to set them up ranging from 1k resolution up to 8k. Uh, I'm skipping the 16k setup purely because I have already done that on two other videos. So we are going to go through various uh, setups, uh, how you should basically set each one up. Um, and I'm just going to stick with their, their their actual intended resolution as opposed to like scaling them up or anything like that. It's just going to be generic uh, setup based upon Unreal's recommendations. So I've made a project which is going to be available on the marketplace. If you fancy skipping the like the setup yourself um, and you fancy supporting me. Uh, obviously you don't have to do that. I'm also going to have the height maps available for free in a drive which will be linked through the marketplace page as well so you can set them up yourself by following along this video. Um, but if you want to support me then that would be great. I'll put it on the cheapest option available and it's up to you. Please also remember that if you want to talk with me directly you can jump into the Tecastus public server which will be linked in the description uh, and also if you could please jump over and follow the Tecastus Studios YouTube channel that would also be uh, greatly appreciated so that you can keep up to date with the other project that I'll be going deep into pretty soon and I'm sure you'll love it. Let's get on with it. I'm actually going to show you what I'm going to have in here. It's going to have the the height maps files themselves. We have a 1K, a 2K, 4K and an 8K which are set up with the world petition resolutions. Um, that will be in the height map files and there will be a level for each one pre-made with their, obviously this all comes generically set up or pre-set by Epic anyway so it's not like I've done anything special there but basically I've set the levels up for you and we are going to start off with this 1k uh, version um, so to begin with we are going to go into landscape mode I'm going to go on to create new and avoid using the import from file if you have watched my other videos uh, or have been going into some bugs then you will know why I've kind of avoid using this because generally it just causes issues so I always go create new and I make the landscape and then I add the height map after once I know that the setup has basically gone through okay so with this we are looking for our overall resolution to go up to 1009 because we are setting up a 1009 by 1009 uh, resolution landscape so basically we would we would uh, change these settings and we will know we have it right when the overall resolution matches the resolution of our height map uh, our general goal is to keep this total component number as low as possible so the best thing to do generally is to take a look at the unreal um, recommendations for landscape sizes and their setups you would find the one that matches the size that you are going to be using uh, which in this case is the 1k 1009 by 1009 and then we would follow the instructions um, based upon what we want so as we can see here we have two options which will give us different uh, kind of you know setups so 
I'm going to go through one of these, which will be this one, the lower component size variant. Um, but I will also add a map with the other one for you to do testing in the project uh, if you decide to take the project that is. So with that um, in our mind let's take a look. So we want to go with 63 by 63 quads which is already set up. We're going to go for our 2 by 2 sections which will bump up the size and our components are already set to 8x8 which is the setting we want which gives us our resolution as you can see it now matches our target and we have our um, total components down to 64 which is which is fine so as far as the well partition region sizes you know this is down to experimentation it really does depend on what you want so it might be that you know you don't want you you only want a certain amount of components. I'm going to leave it kind of preset and we will just create and see what it spits out for us. Now, as you can see, it has not created any regions for us. We have basically got no regions because the amount of proxies, uh, components, sorry, uh, basically doesn't allow it with the setup that we have. So I am going to delete that. I'm going to save it at this station, uh, this position and then go back in. Okay, so as that example clearly didn't have any regions, we need to revisit our partition, um, well partition grid size setting and our partition region size settings. I want to aim to get four regions in every single one of these setups so that you have regions to play with from the start. So firstly I want to increase the amount of proxies so that we have more proxies to stream uh, when it comes to optimizing our level. Generally I think more is better because it gives you more the ability to you know load them in and out a bit more uh, creatively I guess. I can't really think of too many scenarios where less would be better unless you need, like, unless it's a very small environment. I guess one kilometer is still pretty small but you know generally I think more is better if the world is big. Um, but yeah then our regions, uh, how many components do we want in each region essentially? Um, I'm going to say four components because of this, um, the, the minimum we can get from our proxy grid is this uh, one, two, three, four, which, so it's an eight by eight, um, which means in order to get four regions, only four components, um, that's all we can, that's, that's the smallest way to get four by four regions because then we'll have one two three four components by four within each region so in theory this setup should give us our 1k map um, height map with four by four regions click create and you can see we've got our four regions Let we go to our world petition um, panel which if you can't find you go up to window world petition and then hit this world petition editor window and then you can dock it here by dragging it into position so then we would select these regions and then not selection but load selected regions and then that shows us that we have our um, terrain in there so now that we've got our flat terrain, it's at one by one kilometers squared. Um, we need to add our height map. So while we're in this view, we can go to manage, uh, import, and then we want to choose this height map file 
tick box and then we want to find it so I have mine on my desktop which I'm already on we go to uh, find our height map files and we want our 109 1009 by 1009 um, it always I think this is coming up I don't know why I think it's a bug but it's asking me um, it's a t asking me if it's a tiled image and it's not a tiled image so I always say no and basically there is no height in this um, because I basically didn't change the height on input so firstly I'm going to import it um, and it seems actually we have got some height because I suppose it's one to one ratio so ignore that don't worry about it but basically there we have our height map uh, it's pretty bad to see because we have light, no lighting in the scene there is a quick way of adding stuff but I'm just going to go for our uh, directional light exponential height fog uh, cloud volumetric sky atmosphere okay so we got that and then we need to bring our height fog back down and then we have it bring our fog down directional light I'm just gonna change the rotation slightly to a nice afternoon go for minus 12 volumetric cloud let's zero everything out actually that just tends to make it easier to organize and then bring our height fog back down there we go that is our 1k landscape set up obviously not the best looking because it is only 1k resolution and we have stretched it because this is the 2x2 two two, uh, variant so we're now going to use the same uh, height map uh, and do the I guess the unstretched version because essentially this is um, using less components so it's that's probably why the I say that's probably why that is why the resolution isn't so great so what I'm actually going to do is save this current level as 1 by 9 64 components 64 comp load regions all right and one thing I'm going to do is copy these so that we have them for the next map 